I know that right now isn't all fun and games, but we can certainly try. Now is a great time to break out classic games. With so much time spent online with Zoom calls and virtual check-ins with teachers and friends, it'll be nice to give your eyes a break. Spend time interacting over a classic board game like Connect Four, Monopoly, Clue, or Life. Play a round of Hungry Hungry Hippos before dinner, and the winner doesn't have to help with the dishes. Sidewalk chalk is fun, allows your driveway or sidewalk to be a blank canvas, and washes away with the rain. Teach the kids the alphabet or how to play hopscotch, tic-tac-toe, and foursquare, or draw an obstacle course. Put down painter's tape and color in between the lines, lift up the tape, and you've got a mosaic. Get the whole family in on creating sidewalk art and then dressing up and laying on the ground and posing in dramatic themed pictures. Taking photos from inside an upstairs window works great. It just might end up being your holiday card. Everyone's getting stir crazy. Channel some of that energy into an indoor obstacle course with parent permission, of course. Land on couch cushions, spin around in a desk chair, walk backwards down the hall, jump through a doorway of balloons. You make the rules. Set it up, explain the course, then time your rounds and crown a winner. Just watch out for animal interference. Play a game on your phone or game console. The House Party app on your phone allows up to eight of your pals to hang out virtually, video chatting and playing games. Click on the dice icon to play games such as House Party, Heads Up, Trivia, Quick Draw and Chips and Guac. The app Mario Kart Tour will bring you into the classic Nintendo game on your phone so you can race around the world. Yahtzee with buddies will allow all your friends to virtually roll the dice. An eight ball pool will take you virtually to the pub. There are endless games in the palm of your hand, whether you've got a Nintendo Switch, Xbox, or a cell phone. It's not puzzling why puzzles are so popular. Puzzles keep us engaged for hours and allow our minds to both relax and focus on the task at hand. They help kids develop fine motor skills, hand-eye coordination, and shape recognition, according to ParentCircle.com. Plus, there are plenty of phone apps like Jigsaw Puzzles Epic and Puzzle for Toddlers, so you won't have to worry about losing the pieces. I think we all could use some concentration and memory improvement. You may have noticed teddy bears in the windows of your neighbor's homes or stores. Teddy bear hunts have become popular activities since shelter-in-place restrictions went into effect. The hashtag going on a bear hunt has been trending worldwide. So how do you play? Safely go for a walk and try to spot the teddy bears and other stuffed animals in windows. And place an animal in your window at home for someone else to enjoy. It's an unexpected surprise that's been bringing joy and a little adventure. The Olympics are postponed this year, but you can carve out a little time each day to hone in your skills and play a game. Keep a tally of the winners on the fridge. Get the whole family in on the celebration. Everyone's a winner. For Coin News, I'm Nicole DaCosta. Go find your fun.